Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video this is Toriel Sultan in this video I'd like to show you guys how to import live cryptocurrency price into your Google Sheets if you find this video helpful make sure you subscribe to the channel for future content without further ado let's get into it First and foremost, just a background story. I made a video a while back about how to make your own crypto portfolio tracker on Google Sheet. However, the plugin I used in this exact video is only free up to a point. That's why this video might be helpful for those who don't want to get into the paid plan, but still want to use free methods to import the token price. So these are basically free methods you should know. The so first formula you should know is Google Finance. So you can see here I use Google Google Finance tell the formula to go grab a currency of BTC USD and present the price to me right here is Google Finance crypto list as you can see here they cover a pretty full list in here however there's some altcoins that might not be on this list if you are only investing into major cryptocurrency then Google Finance should be good to go let's do a round for Ethereum just simply type equal and do Google Finance obviously you want to bring them into a quotation mark and you want to say currency if you don't do currency it might think you're talking about a stock make sure what you type is inside of this green quotation mark let's do eth usd and enter ethereum right now is at 29.45 let's quickly come to coin market cap to confirm 2948 so 2945 that's really close depending on the source of their data too right and now let's do one more quick round with the litecoin and i will show you guys how to make this super simple ltc usd and click enter that's basically litecoin at the moment litecoin is 114 right here so it's super accurate in that case right and you probably noticed that i typed a lot right i have to keep typing these tickers let's make it semi-automated so you don't have to do too much typing so we're still going to grab this formula however now i'm going to remove btc usd I'm going to keep it till right here. And now what I'm going to do is add and symbol in there. I'm going to refer it to a cell. Remember, it says BTC USD. So we don't have to type it. We're just going to say BTC is right here. And we do another end symbol and do quotation mark. We do USD. Let's put one more in the list, which is XRP. How I'm able to do XRP price is copy paste some other formula and paste it in here and change the LTC to XRP. That's how I'm able to import the price, right? However, with this method we just created, this will automatically dynamically update in terms of the referral cell, which is B3. So now look at what happens if I double click on the bottom right corner, it will automatically drag down uh, based on these tickers, right? You can see here, this is referring to B4, which is ETH. So this way I can keep filling the ticker and without too much copy pasting, but just more like drag and drop type of deal, you know? And now, yes, since it's Google Finance, you can actually change to some other currency. For example, let's copy paste this entire formula and paste it in here. We're still referring to B3, which is BTC here. Instead of USD, I'm gonna type CAD, which is Canadian dollars, that's Canada. So I'm gonna click enter. And now if I drag it, or double click on the bottom right when that plus shows you can actually load the canadian value of these cryptocurrencies i just need to tell this entire column is dollar value so you see right now usd is at 43477 in canadian dollars that's close to fifty five thousand dollars. depends on what country you're from right in here let's do another example jbp that's a pound that's the english pound so now there we go if i can double click on this and now you can see BTC is at 32,000 pounds. Again, use this method on the blue chips, meaning the most popular ones in this list, and you should be able to directly integrate the live price. Keep that in mind that, and if I do BTC USD without referring the currency, you can still import the price. You can see here, I don't have a currency in here, but I can still refer to the same price. However, I've sometimes found bugs here and there, and sometimes it couldn't find the price. And that's why by adding currency, I was able to 
basically bring accurate price that way. And now let's go with a second method. There's something in Google Sheet called the import XML. This is one of the most popular method a lot of people do on YouTube as a tutorial. For this formula, there's two parameters that we need. First one is a URL of a page. Second one is something called XPath. I'm gonna explain to you guys in a really simple terms just in a moment. So what you need is you can come back to coin market cap. Let's open Bitcoin and we're going to copy paste this URL instead of typing it here and I can really drag and drop down the road. What you can do here is actually refer it to a cell like how I did here. Paste the URL on the B1 right here. And then X path is something that we need. And in the refer cell, we're just going to do let's refer B1 and B2. So X path value will fill into B2 and then the value will present itself. Import XLM, you need the two parameters, the URL and then the X path query. So I'm going to show you guys how to grab the X path just in a moment. OK, so now let's come back to this coin market cap BTC page. What we really need to grab is this current value of BTC, right? Right click on this white space. We're going to inspect and this window is going to show up. By the way, depends on what browser that you use. I'm currently using uh, Brave, same as Chrome. And this is exactly the same how you do it on Chrome. Top right corner, I'm going to click on this, the first icon. This allow me to hover my mouse somewhere and I can check the exact class of this element on this web page, right? And now let's hover over to this price. I'm going to click on this once and now you can see it located on this blue bar right here. So all we need to do is actually right click and come to copy. We're going to copy X path and now I'm going to come back to my sheet. I'm going to paste what I just copied on the B2 value right here. And you can see here and this is how we're able to bring the Bitcoin price. If you are really not tech savvy and you have no clue about coding and all that, I'll show you guys a really simple method, which is you need to grab a plugin called a selector gadget. This plugin has been very helpful in terms of finding the X path of a specific web page. OK, the link is in the description. Go click on that link and it's going to bring you to Chrome Web Store and you want to install it to Chrome. If you don't see it in your browser, type on this icon and it's in this drop down. OK, and now what I'm going to do is come back to my coin market cap Bitcoin page and I'm going to click on this icon and bring on the selector gadget and now click on it once. You can see the bottom right corner. Now this little bar showed up, right? You can see here something called a toggle position X path. I'm going to click on toggle position to the top right corner. So you can still see here that I can move around my mouse and to find specific element on this web page. You see this box I selected. This is selecting the price as well as the 14.24 percent increase. This is 24 hour percent change. OK, I'm going to click on it once. You see everything turned green. Even if I move my mouse around, that green is still selected. And now you can see we selected a class called a dot price title. All you need to do is super simple is click on X path and a pop up window will show up like this. Copy paste this entire thing and then click on OK and you're good to go. And now come back to your Google Sheet X path. This is a more complicated version and then this is more simple looking version and this will bring you the exact price of Bitcoin at the moment as well as the percentage. Obviously, this is not the dollar sign here. We need to change that to percent. So it's 15.0% increase since the last 24 hours. So now what you can do is very simple. You can keep creating this, right? If I duplicate this tab, I can create one that's dedicated for Ethereum. And let's grab Ethereum this time. Grab that URL and come paste it into this URL field because everything else remain the same in terms of X path because the layout looks exactly the same. So you can see here we have grabbed Ethereum live price as well as Ethereum 24 hour price change at 12.77%. In another video, I want to show you guys how you can create your own historical data in your Google Sheet. So my Google Sheet every 12 a.m. in the morning, it will quickly go in to grab specific items price and then take a snapshot 
at 12 a.m. in that midnight mark. I want to show you guys how you can do this too. So in the future, now you can compare a lot of things. Just remember, this is a super useful method to use import XLM. The third method I want to show you guys is really similar to the second method, except I find it a little bit more reliable because every time I kind of checked on this method, I don't have a much error message. So it's still, it's XLM, okay? Import XLM, but I have something called index. I will leave this entire equation or formula in the description below. You can go there and copy paste to your own Google Sheet. And now I want to quickly show you guys this URL. This site is called cointracking.info. I find it kind of reliable. So let me show you what I mean, right? A lot of people watch my channel probably know about this token called HNT Helium. I have an index in front of it. I'm not going to go into how this worked. It kind of just a way I discovered along the way. So in here, I'm going to quickly go to flow. 49 number 49 f l o w flow this is one of the altcoins i'm come here and just click on flow and type it in here you're gonna see here flow as a coin it's not the the other one it's a, this number two click on that click on go and just come here to double check you just want to double check the price you can see we're talking about flow 6.37 coin market cap 6.38 this is the one we're referring to. Once you confirm this URL, all we need to do is come back to a Google Sheet. So let's type in the third row here, flow. I'm gonna grab one of these formula and accept in here, instead of Matic, we're gonna type flow two. Remember, flow has two kinds. The second one we're referring to here, click on enter. That's basically the price. And you can adjust how many decimals you want to show. And again, you want to open this site always and you always want to search your particular coin, right? Again, let's grab one more coin as an example. Let's try Sandbox, Sand, okay? Always you want to check first it is to see if Google Finance has the data you want to look for because this is one of the most reliable source. When you click on Command F, you can actually do a quick search. I clicked on Sand, nothing popped up. So that means Sand is not in the Google Finance list. And now what we need to do is come to Cointracking.info and in here we just do Sand, S-A-N-D, you can see here sandbox that's the first coin we're talking about not the sand pro okay click on sandbox and click on go so this should refer you to this little chart here and you just need to double check here 3.20 coin market cap 38 3.21 so it's really similar to that price right which is right here and then all you need to do is just remember this ticker and then come back to your sheet is change that flow to to send everything else remain the same you can see here two four slash td and number nine this is referring to the role by the way just to let you know how it works it's a ninth row on this page and the first column so in here you can check the first column if you change that to two that's going to give you something else it's grabbing that value right here usd we don't want that and we want the the number which is 3.2058 and this is toriel sultan signing out hope you guys enjoyed this video if you really did drop some comments and some likes below let the youtube algorithm to show this video to more and more people out there i'll see you guys in the next one cheers mm -hmm.